As the seat of state government, Van Buren has a lot of lawyers in the community. And most of them are very frustrated because there is not a law school in the entire state of Superior. This may not seem like a big deal, but some states, like Wisconsin, offer diploma privilege. Diploma privilege offers students who graduate from the university the opportunity to practice law within the state without taking the bar. This right doesn't exist in Superior because it does not have a law school. And though our worker shortage has been resolved, it took a number of years to get there and recruitment was incredibly difficult. The state had to pay extra to get people to move here because of the difficulty in actually becoming a lawyer in the state. Today, we are gonna build another university that will focus on its law school. And we're gonna build that right here. We're also gonna build some residential to support this because this college will be mainly focused on being a commuter school. But before we get to that, we've got to make a couple of fixes from the previous build, so let's jump right in. Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building the city of Van Buren in Clearwater County. And I want to get to the university, but we've got to do a few things first. First of all, we've got to fix up a couple of mistakes that we made through here. Then we're going to have to check out our educational system generally, because I think we've got a couple of shortcomings. So the very first thing I want to do is look at this and you can see the issue right now. If you're looking carefully, it looks like I, I skewed a little bit. You know, they say that if you're writing and you're having a bad day, some days you'll write downhill. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I felt like I was having a good day, but apparently I wasn't. <laughs> or maybe I was having a great day and wrote uphill. I'm not sure. Either way, we've got to do something about this. So I am going to use the power of editing to make this look anew. Okay, and here we go. Everything is straightened out and a lot more thought has been put into everything. So I moved all of the trees. I wanted to look and make sure that everything was mirrored all the way across here, all the way across every path. Just really giving a lot more thought to this entire area. I went through and I moved every single light to ensure that they make the most sense and that they are mirrored, that they're at corners, things of that nature. And then I also added some invisible paths and some park people generators. So we get some people like, is that who I think it is? It is, it's Philip with two L's walking around here, scoping out things. I got my eye on you. <laughs> so here we go. And I want to show you what this looks like at night now, because we had some lighting issues here as well. And now you can see that things look just a lot more reasonable. The lights are all the same color before there were some that were brighter and larger for whatever reason. And all of that has been remedied. So feeling much better about this. We'll take this back and you might be noticing that I'm using play it now. So I am still going through my mod list. I said it in the previous episode of Nicolay Bay. I thank uh, fate for all of the help with the mods fate still coming through with the clutch. We're replacing mods in Clearwater County, thinning out the mod list and trying to make it as lean as possible. The game's already loading about a minute faster than it was before. So I'm feeling really good about that. Now here, there was a comment, and I'll put it on the screen right here, that pointed out that I was doing all of this wrong. So we're going to rethink this, go back to the drawing board and really come up with something great. So the way that we're gonna do this is to basically get rid of everything that he did in the last build. Okay, and that might seem extreme, <laughs> and, and truthfully, it is. But here's the thing, what I did didn't look great, and it was way more complicated than it has to be. So I, when I saw this suggestion in the comments, I just had to show it to you. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually rebuild that pool, but we're gonna make it a lot simpler, and it's gonna be a lot more even. So we're gonna go in, and we're gonna use our parallel road tool, but rather than doing what I did, coming up with a couple of segments and getting all finicky with it, we're gonna just connect everything. And then we're gonna use the node controller to make it look good. We're gonna to need to take a look and I wanna see if there are any extra nodes in here because those are gonna create issues for us. And you can see in some of these corners, we have two nodes. Those aren't helpful. Okay, so now we're down to six nodes and I'm gonna come through in node controller, control N, click on this. And here's where the magic happens. So we slide this over. And now that should read 45. If it doesn't, it's probably because you have too many nodes or your 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 uh, walls weren't perfectly straight when you laid them. Look at that. That that that's something special right there. We're going to connect all this up. I'm going to clean everything up and we'll be right back. 
Okay, and I figured I'd take this right tonight so I could show you what it looks like with all the new lights. I've redone everything through here. So I tried to space the lights out a little bit better so that they uh, there's a little bit more symmetry through here. The middle I did do on my own, so if it's a little crooked, forgive me, but uh, it was eyeballing. So what I've done here is I've, I've actually added all the colors of the flag, yellow, blue, and green. Made it look pretty good in my estimation. I added these... These lovely fountains, which, you know, maybe I might need to modify those just a bit. I noticed a couple of other things while I was around here, and that is right here. We've got this this nice normal road here. We're going to upgrade this to one of our new paths. Okay, so feeling good about this, looking good, pedestrianized. And now the big thing. So this is the question that I asked everybody. What should we go with in terms of our paths? So right now we have cobbles everywhere. And overwhelmingly, again, everyone loves the blue stone. It looks good with everything. But I saw the number one comment about the stone and recommended mixing them up. And I really like the idea of that. So what we're going to do is come through here. We're going to leave the cobbles in the interior, wherever we have these historic buildings. And then on our major roads, we're gonna switch up to bluestone, which blends a little bit better with our roads and some of our more modern buildings around here. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about that. I think that looks really, really good. So it's nice that, you know, I wasn't necessarily a fan of the way that the cobbles mixed in the center here. You get this kind of blobby concrete thing, but it does allow you to connect up different types of roads and have a nice aesthetic there. The very last thing we need to do here is pick new street trees. And I believe we went with the silver maple last time. Don't quote me on that, but I like the way these look. So we're gonna go with it this time. And there we go. I think things are looking really good down in the capital area. Now it's time to move on to our campus. You know, and now actually thinking about it, we can't dive into our university without checking out our education pipeline. I think we're gonna have a small issue in that pipeline and it's gonna cause us to have some issues. So first of all, I see that we're teetering on the edge with our elementary school capacity, but I'd rather teeter on the edge than be under capacity, which is where we're at with our high schools. So I think we have an opportunity here and you can see the opportunity already. We have these new high capacity high schools and we're gonna open one up in downtown Van Buren to be a new prep school. So there aren't many great locations for this without tearing down a whole bunch of buildings, which isn't something that we're going to want to do. But we do have an opportunity right here to maybe extend this road out and have the prep school right along the water here. We don't need very much in this school. We're going to say it's self-contained. So we just need to ensure that the school is available. And there we go. We're gonna likely need some water pipes and we should probably put a fence around here as well, some landscaping. Stuff that's low though, we don't wanna block any of the windows because this would have an excellent view. I can't really imagine a better place in the entire state to go to school. There we go. So nothing all that extravagant, but just something to make this area feel a little bit more complete. And this really does fit nicely into a very urban area. We're gonna need a name for this though. And I want it to be a prep school or some sort of private school. So if you have a name, please drop it in the comments and we'll rename it in the next episode. All right, and I wanna I want see what that has done for us. And you see that we're teetering on the edge now. So I think, that our existing high schools will be able to make up for this deficit. And that's gonna be very helpful because that means that we have more folks that can go to the university. Now, we need to keep something in mind. We're making another college when the game says, hey, listen, you don't need it. <laughs> so we've got a couple of options. We can come over here and we could just start turning off buildings. I don't really wanna do that. We're just gonna build another college. And rather than building this sprawling complex like we did here, uh, for Superior State, we are going to build a much more compact university. We really want the law school. And if we take a look, well, we'll get to that in a second. We've got a couple of things to clean up. So first of all, we got a couple of trees poking through the roads here. So I'm gonna go through this entire area and just clean it up and we'll be right back. There we go. Now I'm noticing a weird node thing happening here. So I'm gonna take a look at this. 
And I will let you guys know, I've been having all sorts of issues with Node Controller. I have a feeling when I move this, it's going to throw an error at me. It did not. <laughs> so I feel very, very privileged right now because it's been really kind of a bear. And I've, I've seen that other people are having some issues too. Hopefully it gets resolved soon. I don't know exactly what's causing it, but basically in certain locations, it will give me... Um, a, a little error that doesn't do anything. It's not game breaking or anything, but it is irritating. Now what I want to do is come and I'm going to basically remove half of the trees through here. So let's give ourselves a big brush size. We are on uh, the top strength. And we're just going to clear these out. We'll add them back through at the end. And the reason we're clearing them out is because this is going to be the front of our university. Now there's something interesting that I'm noticing here and I'm guessing you are as well. Lots and lots of parking. Oh, and death. <laughs> That's not good. I think I know the problem here. Let's check out our building spawn points. Look at that. The problem is that it's actually facing towards the back. Let's rotate this. We'll send it towards the loading docks, and then we'll move it forward until this is not orange anymore. There we go. This should get remedied now. It should. All right. We're not going to worry about that, though. We are going to need to think about the parking, so that's going to be a thing at this campus. We're going to need a parking ramp of some sort over here, so that's just a consideration for us. And then I want to think about the layout of the campus. So I'm thinking that we're going to have the main administrative building here. We'll have a parking lot off to the side, and then we'll have a road connecting back, the one road through our campus. So uh, let's use our planning roads to think about our layout just a bit. And the first thing I want to know is I want to know exactly how long it is. Can we save from here? We'll turn on all of our snap twos. I think 42 is pretty safe. And look what 42 does. It gets us almost perfectly in line with that road, which is going to be good because I'm going to take this grid. We're going to have a residential component of this. I, obviously, I, I mentioned that I want this to be a commuter college to a certain extent, uh, but we... Commuter can mean a couple different things. I mean, you could be commuting back to your parents' house, or you could be commuting to your off-campus apartment. So we're going to have off-campus apartments available right here in a, in a small neighborhood. That said, here we are, and here's our entry point. And because this was 42 across, we know that 21 is our center point. So we'll grab that. And I'm going to keep note of that. Now, I don't know how far back we want to go just yet. This is probably acceptable. We've already got a campus area drawn. If we take a look, we're already there. And actually, <laughs> I drew it just perfect. All right, so let's grab our campus. And I believe it's our liberal arts campus that we want to take a look at. So we actually want to look at our university campus, sciences, medicine, and law. That's the one that we want. And we have our main administrative building right here. Oh, and I forgot. It doesn't like our planning roads. So... We'll need to upgrade these, and then we'll come back in here. We can center that perfectly right there. Ah, it's looking good. We'll turn off our district. And I've been thinking a lot about this building. In particular, there are all these pads that come with it, and they just don't look great. I don't love the way these look. I think we're going to change some things. We don't need this side path here. We can do something on our own. So we're probably going to unlock these and, and give this some more thought. The other thing is, this side road isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world. So maybe we'll include that. Along with the road here and here. We're going to have some sort of decorative fountain or plaza right here. We're going to send this up the side. There we go. So I'm likely going to use this as a place for some sort of parking ramp. We can figure that out right now, actually. And this parking ramp, this is a good location for it uh, for a couple of reasons. But the main reason is that we could share this between our train station and our university. The unfortunate thing is this is a really lovely location. And I think we're going to go back to the drawing board. So we're going to eliminate this road and let's spin this around. We'll incorporate this more into this uh, transportation complex, so to speak. And now, with that separation, maybe we can feel a little bit more comfortable with this happening right here. So we'll, we'll, we can send a road back here. I'm okay with that idea still. I just think that we need... Oh, I'm jumping around. Uh, we just need to make sure that it's not completely overpowering this. So what we're going to do is grab this. 
I'm gonna send this up this way. There we go. So we can hide that with some landscaping now. It's a good location, students could walk in here. I still don't know why this asset's doing this. It has like some concrete, uh, I, I don't even know what you'd call this. It almost looks like concrete walls just kind of lying down the on the ground there, whatever. It's, it is what it is, and here's the barrier. It's kind of off to the side, too. It's like someone came in with a bulldozer and just knocked it, but it is what it is. It's neither here nor there. We'll take it as it is. Now I want to give this some more thought. Let's get back to our planning roads. Okay, so now we have this in place, and I really just care about this back end, <laughs> interestingly enough. The reason why is I want to go through, and I'm going to add some paths through here. So... We have the university paths that are supposed to be the ones that you're using with these campuses. I don't really know how I feel about them. And I've always kind of been lukewarm. So these blobby ones aren't everyone's favorite path, but I do think that in some cases they they look a little bit better. So I wanted this because I want to be able to go down here. And now we have the center of this because this has a grid. I want to find the exact center. So if I come through here, that's 11 units, that's hard. But if I turn on only grid line, it's easy. No, it's not. <laughs> what am I thinking? Yep, that was not helpful at all. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that it would be. But I can still grab the perfect center now, more or less, and then turn on my angle. And this is really important for what we're about to do. I want to really focus on the center. We're going to add in a fountain in the very center of the campus. So this is inspired by Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. And in there, they have this symmetrical plaza and all of the buildings come off from there. And in the very center, there is a fountain. And I, I when I was looking for inspiration for this build, I really, really uh, uh, liked what I saw. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna need to place our first building now to figure out where we need to center this on. So I think the very first building should be our law school. We're gonna place that right here. And you see that we have the center of that building. So I'm just gonna send this down. Okay, and so you, you, I think right now you can see why I decided to use the blobby paths right here. And it is just that they blend really well with the buildings. So I really like the way that these look. We're gonna go into our curved road tool and I, I wanna go up one. We are, we're, gonna, we're gonna turn our grid on and our road length. I'm gonna see if I can get this to be one all the way across. And now I should be able to eliminate the center. All right, there we go, little tiny plaza. Love it. Now we're gonna come through and add in our fountain. And I'd like to use Surface Painter to fill this in, but if I do, it will look terrible. But what I can do is come through with my ploppable concrete, grab the two by two, put it right in the center, and now it kind of diamonds it out, but I'm, I'm good with it. I think this looks really nice. We're going to have some decorative landscaping along the sides here and have some radial features here. So it's going to look really nice in the end. All right. So now that we have this, we're going to use our building to form the boundary. And that's eight units. So we'll go up eight units. And it's not the boundary here. <laughs> or, 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 I wonder if this is actually my fault. Yeah, this is actually my fault. So I did not connect the paths here. I'm, oh, I'm reluctant to do this, but I'm going to try. We're going to go through here. I've got to turn on my road guidelines so I can find the end of that path. So now I can connect up at 90s. Get rid of this one and then pull this down. Oh yeah, that's good. That's real good. The only thing, I wanted to have a diagonal and I don't know that that's gonna be possible. So that was something at SMU that I really I really liked was the diagonal coming off from here. Oh, <laughs> that said, we could always go up. So we could say go up two units, find our node and then add it from here. And I, I almost think I like that more anyway. There we go. There we go. So now we've got some work to do with this building. So I'm going to bob this up. We're going to get rid of some of these ugly trees through here. And truthfully, I'm just kind of at the point where I'll place my own. 
So we'll just put those through there. We'll have to accept our changes. I didn't do that. And now I have the freedom and flexibility to do what I think is right in this particular location. So what I think is right is to get rid of some of these paths. Uh, this is unfortunate. I was really hoping that I could just wholesale eliminate this. It's not going to let me do that. Even if it's not, I'm going to blobby this up and continue to have my blobby paths because I just think that they look a little better. All right. So now we are going to decorate this a little bit more. And maybe we should just start thinking about getting water and power to our campus as well. Let's put the water pipes underneath the road right where they belong. And I want to look at one thing. So we talked about, that we, we, we mentioned that we're building a law school, but we never talked about the benefits of doing so. So if we look at this, we see that the students get internships at the office of the city's prosecutor, providing legal counsel to citizens. Crime rate and police department upkeep is reduced throughout the city. Facility inc increases campus attractiveness and requires a university campus area. So there are two other unique buildings that we could build. We have our science center, which requires prestigious, that's five stars. With this one, we would increase the campus attractiveness and reduce overall city pollution and electricity consumption. So that's pretty big. And if we don't get this to be a prestigious university, we are missing out on that. Same thing with this, the School of Medicine, we would actually increase our ambulance count and patient capacity at our hospitals. Let me know in the comments as well, uh, if you'd like to see me pursue these, we could, we just got to really get hokey with it, or I just have to unlock all buildings, which is something that I'm truly not that interested in <laughs> to me it's just it kind of takes the fun out of the game i don't i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys but even though i've done it before and unlocked these buildings it's still fun for me i still enjoy it so when i when i when i take that away the game kind of loses some of that that fun factor for me but i'll do it for you because i care <laughs> So let me know. <laughs> All right, here we go. And we're just extending some of these paths out to create that pattern that I was talking about earlier. I'm really digging this. So we've added this here because I'd like to add in some parks. Nothing's unlocked right now. If we take a look, Clearwater County Institute, I kind of like that, but we need a name for this as well. Our attractiveness is not there. And we're not going to get there by not building things. We do have students though, which is interesting. I was concerned about that. We're gonna, we're, we have a lot of money. We're generating a lot of money. We're gonna spend a lot of money right now. So the way that we're gonna do that is cranking up our chances at scientific discoveries. We're gonna grant some money for dissertations. I'll get 10 academic staff here and hopefully this won't send us to the poorhouse. There's a chance. So I'm not gonna build the dormitories first. Let's look at, around this center. Let's look at buildings that everyone would use. So I think that the study hall makes a ton of sense. A cafeteria around here would also make a lot of sense. We don't have that yet, so we'll just place this here. And then for the dorms, we're going to place those along the beach. So we're not done building along the beach. So let's go ahead and use our pedestrian roads. <laughs> so let's see if I regret this. And here we are going to go with sandstone. I think it matches the beach aesthetic. And I really want to center this. Oh, academic calendar. We've got some new students. Our attractiveness is going up at the Clearwater County Institute. What has this done to Superior State? We've actually got more students there. We're still prestigious. Things are looking good. So we can be happy. We're getting, uh, we're, we're making progress. All right. So here, it's not perfectly centered, but it's not, it's not too terribly bad. But we can improve this. So let's hold this down. And as I look at this, you can kind of tell We've got these mirror, or these windows on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows. So the fourth window is the, the center. So that is the center and it's perfectly centered right now. So I could get real crazy about this. I think I'm just going to leave it. I think it's fine. It's, it's perfectly fine. Now we learned in Verde Beach that we have to have at least two units of separate at 1.1 units of separation, but we like to use grids for simplicity. So we're going to go ahead and just add this for the time being. This is not going to remain like this. We're going to cut this down. I don't want to have too many dorms. So I'm going to back this one unit off so we can have uh, some, some trees lining these streets. And then I think we're going to go with three dorm buildings total. And maybe we should be focusing on 
what this is actually doing for our campus attractiveness. We've doubled it by placing these two. So that's a good thing. So I forced the creation of a new node here by drawing outside of the building or out, uh, outside of this connection and then pulling it back to it. The reason I'm doing that is I just want that to be perfectly centered. We're going to have some landscaping along the sides here. And then we're going to use these as our two connections back to this pedestrian road. And I think that that's going to create a really nice aesthetic for us. The one thing I'm not a huge fan of right now is there are parking facilities right at these dorms. I think it was like that at our last university as well. And I think I like it less here. So we are going to bob those out of existence. So Alt B, click on that. Look for our parking spaces, set them to zero. And then we've also got to look for our parking space here. And I want to see if we have any invisible parking markers. Doesn't look like we do. So we should be okay. So now it just looks like a wide sidewalk and a place where people could hang out. And I'm very, very okay with that. We're going to take this pedestrian road and terminate this somewhere as well. And I'm very curious. Now this is my, this is honestly my first time playing with pedestrian roads and mods. So I'm not exactly sure how the, this interacts with TMPE. I'm sure many of you have ideas already and you're thinking to yourself, you're going to love this. You might be right. I hope I, I hope I do. So let's add some nodes here. I want to curve this. There we go. Oh, that's looking good. Now back to our paths through the back here. We're going to continue our paths and we're going to use these paths as the foundation for another path connection across the road. We're going to have make sure we have crossings as well. When we upgrade this road with node controller, I'm going to add a crossing there. There'll be one here as well. And I'm going to get rid of some of these little nubbins back here. We don't need those. And then we'll send this down the back as well here. There we go. And I've got some trees here. So let's try to be mindful of those again. They'll come back to haunt us. And there we go. Feeling good. Feeling good. Now... We're going to send this back down and all these snap twos are creating issues for us. I really only care about angle. So we're going to turn angle on. And it's interesting. I kind of want to mirror this anyway. All right. So let's look back at our campus area and see what other buildings we have available to us. So we have our study hall. We need to place our groundskeeping and our futsal club for futsal. Why don't we hide that kind of back here? And then groundskeeping, we're going to keep that very close to the road over here. Oh, that is absolutely terrible to look at. That is not going to work for us. That dirt around there, I just don't like it. So maybe we'll just put that along the road here. And it's, it's about time that we make our connection here. This is going to be a bit of a problem for us. Or not. We could just forgive a bit of imperfection. I don't love it, but it's not, it's not too bad. We'll just live with it. Now, I'm going to come through here and add in some pedestrian crossings. And I really think that because of what this street is, we're going to need to lower the speed limit. We'll do that at the end um, once we have everything in place. So now our attractiveness is where it needs to be. We need more academic works. And let's give another grant. We only have a 42% chance. But if we crank this, we can get up to 75. And now we can place our groundskeeping. I'm going to back that just a little ways off from here so we can have some trees lining the street to create a sense of place in, in the university, make it its own unique building. Now, we are having some garbage issues, and I think this has been a concern. In the next episode, I think we're going to have to focus on our utilities. If we take a look at this, I'm afraid to look. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're in a bad spot right now with utilities. And if we look at our budget, I've just been slowly cranking it up and it's, uh, it, you know, we're going to keep doing it because I don't really know that I have another option right now, short of completely switching what I'm doing. And truthfully, what this feels like to me is what you see a lot in local government. You're told to do more with the same or more with less in some instances. And it's it just, it's the kind of the way of the world, unfortunately. 
So when you see municipal staff at your city hall, be nice to them. They're probably working uh, harder this year than they were last year with fewer people. That's my little plug to municipal employees. Good people, hardworking, and uh, generally just love their community. All right, here we go. I don't necessarily love what's happening here. Something about it just feels off. I know one thing that feels off, all the parking. So let's, we are going to do some traffic manager stuff right now. And the first thing we're going to do is all of this parking, no parking. Now, the unfortunate thing is that that means that this road is overly wide, which, why, why is everyone, oh, a toga party. <laughs> Here they are, toga party goer. Uh, it's just a whole bunch of people in togas. All right. We don't even have any frat houses, so I don't know how that uh, how that works, but whatever. So the uh, overly wide roads. So by eliminating the parking, you can see it here. That fire truck, uh, that garbage truck has a lot of room. This would encourage people to drive faster. It's, it's not something that they're actively thinking about, but when there's not that friction there, when the roads aren't narrower, people tend to go faster. The only way to fix this would be to add in a road that has more friction. Tree line streets actually Probably a good one. Even though I like the road that we were using, I think because this is a campus, we're gonna change it. So this is not quite as decorative. Doesn't have the cobbles that we've been using all over the city. But for the sake of this actually being narrower, for the safety benefits that we would receive fr from this, I think we're just gonna convert it. I think this is the most realistic solution here. Let's resume this thing. And there we go. We It preserved our crossings, which is great. It makes me very, very happy. The other thing that we're gonna do is lower the speed limit on this road. So again, we're gonna go back into traffic manager and we're gonna drop the speed limit. We're gonna go to 15 miles per hour. That's very slow. And you know what? It's a campus. You're going slow. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> now I know that that doesn't that's not the way the world works you don't tell people to go slow and they just happen to go slow but uh, I love how obedient the sims are they will they will go slow when you tell them to so we're gonna go for it and we need more water pipes over here now we've got a little bit of time before we get to our next year so we're gonna speed things up a little bit and focus on some of our residential development. I'm not, I don't want to give up on having decorations here, but I want to wait until we have some of them unlocked. So we're going to focus on this little area right here. The very first thing we're going to do is again, remove all of our trees. Fantastic. So we can do something back here first. We'll blend in the, the city into our university and have some paths to connect up to this main street right here, which we should really name. It'll be University Avenue. And let's start finding some nice mixed use buildings for this area. Okay, so we're gonna come in to find it and I'm gonna look for some custom assets. I don't wanna look for growables. I think I wanna look specifically for our ploppables and our Ricos. And I noticed these angles and that really gets me curious. So that looks like it's the base. I like that. So now we've got that mixed use building. We have the top here as well. And then we can turn that to get it to fit really nicely. Oh, I like that. So this is going to be significantly taller and more dense than the Southern neighborhood. Now I thought about carrying this block structure through, but I think we're gonna let our buildings dictate exactly how our roadway network through here looks. And I want to look for some buildings that maybe we haven't used quite as often. So when I see that we've got some of these mid-rise condos, let's look at the architecture to see, and this has four-sided architecture, which means that it would be ideal in a place like this. I'm gonna leave some separation between some of these so that we can add some path connections through. Another modern mid-rise condo. And this one almost looks like it's supposed to be with another building. So a lot of these are smiles assets so some of these are those this the, the sorts of assets that would be combined to make one larger building oh i like that so i've got one here that's a little funky it's on the pedestrian road i'm gonna see if i can get cutesy with this and work around the dlc 
So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn off collision for just a moment. I'm using my little pedestrian road path thing and I'll place that right here and I'll use that to fill my gap and I'll get a light out of the deal. Not a bad solution. There we go. Building's just fine. Spawn point is over here. So really this is just pavement that I've added through here and I dig it. I dig it a lot. All right, so I wanna take some of these and really focus on creating a street wall. So this building is way too close to the street in comparison to these other ones. So this is something this setback would be something that would absolutely be thought about as these buildings are being uh, constructed. I'm gonna say that that's okay. We want the building fronts to line up for the most part. So that means that this one's coming back a little bit. And then this also needs to go back just a little ways. Oh, we want both, we want both halves. <laughs> okay, I'm good with it. I think that that is good. We are going to add in some paths through here. And we'll just go with our same paths that we've been using. And I'm going to turn angle on. And then I want to send these back through here. So let's turn on our grid again, our road length. And I'm just going to send these back here. Let's go on a, a tile out so we can have some landscaping in between. We're going to give all of these ample space. And then we can line this up nicely. There we go. Nice connection. And now in between these buildings, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Yeah, that's looking good. And now we can add additional pedestrian connections through here. And we don't need to load this up. We can have a plaza park space sort of deal right here. And I think that that's totally acceptable. Or we could have another university facility right here and kind of blend in. I like that. Now, this building looks a little crazy, <laughs> if we're being honest. And we should really look at all of these to make sure that they make sense and provide some sidewalks out. And then I think over here we're okay. So I'm going to move this one node, hit M, hold down Alt, and slide this on over. Perfect. And now we've created, I mean, this feels more residential in character. So we've got a couple of tall buildings through here. I, I appreciate that. I also appreciate some of the uh, lower rise ones. We could even sneak in and have some smaller buildings going towards the train. Although density would make sense going that way as well. So hard to say what the right action there is. It's really up to you. So I want to go with a long and skinny ploppable concrete. And the main reason is I want there to be a very flat, very defined sidewalk space here. There we go. That is good. So the reason why I think it makes sense to not go with too much height down there is we still have our view corridors that we're going to want to preserve. Over here, we're kind of getting so far away from the capital that if you're at street level, you barely see it anyway, so it's not a huge deal. It certainly would be nice to be able to see it, but it's not the end of the world if you can't. The closer you get, though, the better your views get and the more that a large building could obstruct it. Although, I, I think that this is kind of one of those things where a developer could come in and sometimes you'll actually have developers do balloon studies where they will get in a hot air balloon or a drone and they'll actually send it up to see what you could see if you were higher above and then try to make the case that maybe more density makes more sense here because if you were higher, you could see it and at street level, you currently cannot. They'll do shadow studies. Uh, they'll do this for signs too, to see how far they could see their sign, all sorts of things. So here we go, looking good. So here's the thing that is interesting. Got a lot of parking occurring on this street. I would assume that we have a residential parking permit program uh, that would be absolutely mandatory uh, by in the, in the residents' minds to ensure that they are the only ones allowed to park here and not the college students that they don't want parking here. So one of those one of those things. I want to go for some fairly substantial trees through here. We're gonna give each. We'll, we'll add in every other one of these a tree. I'll have a green space, so if you had a dog, you could let your dog out. Let's go through. We'll add some smaller decorations in this area. And then when we hit our next milestone, I believe, if we take a look, should be soon, we should have the academic works needed to level up our campus.
And I'm actually gonna change these roads. So I have these tree lined roads. We're adding so many trees on the side of the road that it's kind of overwhelming in my uh, in my estimation to have all of the trees in the center as well. So this will look just as nice. Now I know that there would be a lot of public works professionals very upset with me right now. It's very difficult to maintain these uh, medians. Oh, <laughs> it's very difficult to maintain these medians. And uh, so we're actually seeing in, in my area, many of these being filled in. And those trees I just planted are on fire. But thankfully, Clearwater County's finest are on the job. So thank you. Thank you, fire department. All right. Okay, and so I'm adding some more landscaping through here, and I think we're gonna line some of these. Now I know that this isn't the most realistic thing to just continually line the paths with bushes. I just like the way it looks. It, to me, I, it's one of those things that I know isn't super realistic to line all of these, and it prevents people from going into the grassy areas. I just really enjoy the way it looks. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit of it, a little bit. Okay, and I want to preserve this for something more grand. Back here, I think we're going to add in a few uh, of our larger trees. There we go. We've got to get some more things to decorate through here and more buildings to place. And that's one thing that's making it difficult to actually figure out exactly what we're going to do here. One thing I know we need to do here, though, is change the orientation. Oh, there we are. There we are. We Wow, our student... Our student body is growing significantly through here. So we are up to almost 900 students. We've got three academic works. Our campus attractiveness is through the roof. And we have unlocked some new buildings. Some really important buildings. The, found, the fountain is what I was waiting for. The gymnasium as well. The outdoor study. These are things that we can fill some of these areas in with. We'll probably have to take away some of the landscaping that I just placed. But I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. So let's stop this in Superior State. Still prestigious, good. We aren't hurting it too much. That's that's a good thing. All right. So we're gonna take a break from our landscaping and fixing of things, and we're gonna place a couple of these. So we have the outdoor study hall. And to me, this is an excellent location for that back here, if we can make it work. I'm gonna hit anarchy. And this actually fits really well. I like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm digging this. All right. So this shouldn't work, but I'm just going to make it. <laughs> and there's a tree that's kind of in the way, in a path. That stinks, but it could be worse. It could be worse. I think that that's good. I think that's really good. I'm, 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 I'm really into that. We're going to also add some paths going out through the bath. Back, not the bath. <laughs> I really, really like that. I don't love the trees, but we can fix that easily enough. There we go. That looks nice enough, in my opinion. All right, so through here, uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Let's continue to place our buildings. We've got our gymnasium. And let's actually think about this a little bit. I think our cafeteria is way more important. Let's place our cafeteria maybe right along here. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to get rid of that path right there. We're going to add in our fountain. And then I think behind it, we can add in another path. So it'll be a little offset. I'm sure that there will be some folks who, you know, say that the desire path is right through it, but that's okay. And it's funny. I usually like all these little bushes. I don't know how I feel about it here. I think I actually don't like it here. There, we got rid of them. I actually think I, I, I like the look of it more without it. So now with this, I'm still not 100% sold on this being here. We may end up, yeah, we're going to, wow, look at all that parking. That's ridiculous. Uh, we're going to need to remove the parking on this building. And we're going to move this. I'm going to rotate it. And 
I don't like that either. We're going to just sever this path. So it'll be very similar to how it looks with the law school. The path will be severed. And I think that that's a better solution. I just, this is one of those situations where the more I look at it, the less I like it. <laughs> it's just kind of a, a weird thing. But this I like, then we'll come into Bob and get rid of that parking. Much better. I don't even know why those parking spaces are there. I, I, it, to me, it just doesn't really make a ton of sense. Now we have the rest of our buildings to think about, and we have our gymnasium. This has a nice presence, so I like the idea of this being right there. So if we were coming through our campus, like that has a presence. That feels like a, a building with ah, lots of parking. <laughs> okay, that's better. So no parking, we're good. And then the other buildings that we've unlocked, I don't know. We've got our university fountain. That's what we've already placed. I think that's about it for us, which is totally fine. We're going to place another fountain. I'm going to take this and try to incorporate it into this area a little bit. So it's the focal point and centerpiece of this area. Now, the, the trick is going to be finding a way to basically make it seem planned. <laughs> so. There we go. I'm I I I'm 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 digging this now. Whoops, I don't like I didn't want to do that. Uh can I undo that? I can. All right. Very good. So, one more series of these trees here and then we're gonna go with some smaller stuff behind here yeah I think this is pretty good we are gonna add a few more trees along here very very sparingly though we don't want to block the water views if we can avoid that I apologize if I am taking this a little bit slowly. I'm just kind of taking the time to, to smell the roses. And I'm really enjoying it. I think sometimes you just got to slow down and do the things in the game that you really enjoy. And these are the things that I enjoy. I don't think that I'm the best decorator in the world. But I do know that it's just something that I, I really enjoy doing. And sometimes that's good enough. Just do the things that keep you, keep you smiling. That's looking good. I really, I really like this. I really, really like this. I think this is one of the better campuses that I've put together. So we don't need to keep going either. We could just leave it here. It doesn't need to get to be the, the a mega campus that has a little of everything. We had a goal and that was to create a campus with a law school. And at this point in time, we've accomplished that goal. We've got other things that we could do here, obviously. I think that this looks a little underutilized so we're going to add some more landscaping in fact i might even just add in a, a couple of puffs of trees take our take our brush size down nope don't like it don't like it one bit <laughs> so we're just going to continue what we've been doing which is lining some of these streets So maybe what we'll do up front is work in some of our new plazas and promenades parks through here. I'm going to add in some decals that line up with this. I think that we have some now. So we'll go through here. And I think if we go to the bottom, maybe, maybe, is this it? Yeah, this looks like it. And now I can use my prop line tool and hopefully, hopefully get these to look nice. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I think that's pretty good. You can't really tell. Well, I guess you can. You can you can't tell 
everywhere where it begins and ends in a couple of places. Maybe it can. I think that's pretty good. I, I like that. I like that a lot. So we've got garbage problems here. I think that if we take a look, it's still... Yeah, our processing status is not good. Our closest garbage facility is, is not close. We're going to need to do more with that. That said, I think we are in a fairly decent spot. I want to see. We are one academic work away from hitting our next level. We're going to let this go for just a moment because I do want to see what we unlock if we get to level three. And that might be where we end it. So let's let this sit for a minute and we'll, we'll get to level three. Okay, and we have reached the end of the academic year. And look at this. It's still increasing in the student body population. We have a much more attractive campus and a few new academic works. And Superior State, even though it lost a lot of students, it seems like many of those students just moved over here. And there's a smaller student body generally. Uh, it's still prestigious, so we're still good there. It's on the edge, though. So, <laughs> kind of interesting. We're going to take a look at the buildings we got. We got this academic statue, the library, the math club, the school of medicine, and the commencement office. I think this might be good enough for us. I think that might be what we need to make our university feel complete. And I'm not even sure that we're going to use all these. The school of medicine, for instance, is very large. And though, though we'll see a benefit from it, I'm not sure if, if this is something I actually want to build. So... Let me know in the comments what you think, if we should just keep it to maybe an academic statue, the university library, math club, and commencement office. We'll, we'll take a look. We'll see how those fit in here. Let's check them out. So we've got our library right here. And I did go through, I got bored. <laughs> I added some landscaping, this little uh, fishing pier, and some volleyball uh, courts. And it's funny, I add this, and now I'm going to take it away, <laughs> which is the the darkest timeline all right we're gonna get rid of this path right there the one that i said i wasn't sold on anyway and we are going to add in one more path and it's interesting they, it looks so much different than the two main buildings that it's just it, it, it kind of looks off to me it i'm not sure let me know how you guys feel about it does it look off to you i do like that with the way it's sitting, you would be able to exit out the back and go directly to the train station. That's a really nice, um, a really nice touch there. So there are some weird things happening. I think I mentioned node controller earlier. This will throw me an error if I touch it. So hopefully that gets resolved soon, but not the end of the world either way. Okay, then we also have our math club and I think think that we could do something similar to what we've done over here and just add the math club to the other side. And then we have our academic statue. And I think for this, we'll have a little spot right here where you could rest, take a load off and check out the academic statue. We're going to need to change this. That's no good. There we go. And then the last thing is this commencement office. This is always an interesting one because it's very large and you generally, I would assume you wouldn't be using this very often. I'm going to place this here and then we're going to turn it around and I'm actually thinking this might be where I want it. So let's go ahead and we'll add a path. Oh, and I'm jumping all around. <laughs> we'll add a path here and then go back and add our commencement office right in the center of the path. And we'll add a path around it. There you go. I like that. I like that. We've got to change these trees here as well. There we go. I like that. That looks really good. And it's out of the way. It's still there. We'll have to do a bit more development here uh, in, the, in the next episode. But for now, I think that we've done a great job Except for, what is this one thing here? Oh, it's a city tour.
All right, and boy, this is really starting to feel like a more complete city. And that's what we're looking for. Now, no city's ever complete, and we've got a lot to do here. But there were significant gaps in this community that I feel are finally starting to be filled. And the nice thing about that is that our demand for services is starting to, or our demand for different zoning classifications is also starting to rebound. We have a lot of residential demand, but we also have commercial demand now, which is nice. And that means that we're gonna need to keep growing our little community. And uh, I know that things look a little bit different right now. I've gone through and I'm changing some of the views, the, the visual settings, so if things look a little bit different, I apologize, but I hope it looks better. <laughs> so I'm going to be releasing. I have a new theme mix set up for Clearwater County, and I'll be releasing my render it settings shortly. I'm going through it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tweak everything to be just just right. But for now, I think we're gonna leave it here. And I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And I really can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for joining me in Clearwater County, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you